All right, let's get going on this. Um, we're going to start by putting your name in the top and naming this day 19 sentences. And then I said, make the next line import random. And then I asked you to make a comment with a sample sentence. So um, I'm going to give this example. My dog howls loudly, period. And I'm just going to write, this is a subject, this is a verb, and this is an adverb. Adverbs modify verbs, so you could say loudly, softly, crazily, pathetically. These are all adverbs, ways, things that modify the verb. So we're going to say subjects, I'm making a list called subjects. And inside, I'm going to put my dog. Um, saying, please make your own subjects, don't use mine. I don't want you just to copy my program. And I'm just going to put one in, but you're going to put more than one in. You would click here, comma, and another set of quotes, and put another subject in, comma, another set of quotes, and another subject, and so on. I'm just The program will run with just a single one, and that might be a way to get started on this. I'm going to say verbs equals... Howls and adverbs equals loudly. And then I'm going to do um, punctuation equals, I'm going to make a, a period. I'm going to use uh, exclamation point sometimes. I'm going to use question mark sometimes. And I'm going to use dot, dot, dot sometimes. So you can copy that line if you want. Um, and then I said, good people, uh, let's repeat uh, 10 times using a for loop, 4x in range 10. That repeats 10 times. And we're not going to use, uh, we're not going to use um, the x value, which is, just helps us repeat 10 times. It's just super quick and easy. So, um, now, inside here, that means indented here, we're going to print random.choice subjects and comma random.choice verbs, comma random.choice adverbs. And then here we have to do a plus random.choice punctuation. You have to do a plus there because I we can't have a... Uh, space between the, um, uh, the last letter and the exclamation point or the period. So anyway, I run it and all my sentences are my dog howls loudly. I think this is a good way to do it. Just do one word in each thing first and make sure it works and that it looks good. Some things I'm going to be looking for uh, are, is the first letter capitalized? Um, is there a space before the period at the end? There should not be. Um, do the words agree with each other? So let me show you an example that doesn't. If I made howling and I ran this, my dog howling loudly. That's, that's English, but it's not proper English. And these sentences need to be grammatically correct. Uh, so you could say howls, or you could say howled, but howl doesn't work. Uh, my dog howl loudly. Um, so if you wanted to make them all past tense, you could say my dog howled loudly. That's fine. And so then what's a good example for another verb? Well, let's see, crawled. Uh, notice I've got my dog crawled loudly, my dog howled loudly. Great. What would not work is crawling. So uh, my dog cr crawling loudly, my dog howled loudly. These sentences don't make sense. The howled ones still work, but you you have to make them uh, you have to make them uh, agree with each other. Um, 
so again, please do your own uh, uh, words. If you wanted to do my dog, you could then do uh, the chicken or the president. Um, what would not work is my uh, six best friends. Oh, that still works. Uh, with past tense, I guess it works pretty well. Um, let me think of one that wouldn't work. Uh, well, past tense is more forgiving. If I went back to Howells, uh, my dog, the president, those work. Um, six former students. So this won't work because it'll say six former students howls loudly. And notice students would howl. I'd have to make this singular, but then the dog ones won't work. My dog howl loudly, six former students howl loudly. That line works great now, but all the other ones don't. So the point is figure out a system and a plan um, that will make everything agree. Six former students howled loudly, the president howled loudly, my dog howled loudly. Yeah, so this works now. So past tense is uh, not a bad way to make this work. Um, let's see, that was looking funny just cause it was wrapped around. Um, please keep everything school appropriate. If you want to do this all in Spanish, you can, um, or some other language that you legitimately speak. Um, but let's make it work perfectly with, uh, one, one in each thing. And then you get to add, uh, you need six or more. Once you get it working, add six, add words until you have six or more items in each list. And then finally, copy sample output and send it to me in an email with the subject sentences. Also turn in an invite link on the Google Classroom. So I'm literally saying highlight these, right click, copy, and send me an email. Uh, there's a bunch of extensions um, that you can optionally do if you finish early. Thank you.